Welcome. Thanks for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Deb Gillard, your host of the program. Today is Wednesday, July 16th. We are so happy you're with us. Whether you have found us on Charter Channel 8, which is where we can be seen six days a week, or you're finding us and watching us on the Internet. Of course, you can get to us from YouTube. Just type Owatonna Today Show in the uh, search box, and you will find Owatonna Today shows that you can watch, either this one or others. We are also, you can also go to Leanne's website, thethirdhandvideo.com. Click on the Owatonna Today Show tab, and that will take you to the list of the current shows. And we are on Facebook as well with an Owatonna Today Show page. And you can like that page, and you will get notifications of new shows as they are up and running with new information. We always welcome your comments and suggestions for shows and show topics and ideas and things that we can um, go out into the community and find out about. You can please contact Leanne Alt, the Owatonna Today Show producer, at 390-5751 with your ideas and or get a hold of us at Owatonna Today at charter.net for our email address. We've got a great list of supporters who now include the Owatonna Today Show welcoming back the Festival of the Arts as a sponsor of the show. So welcome back to the festival at this time. We have a very good show for you today. We're going to be coming back from the break, and it is, of course, one of my favorite days. We have the little four-legged friends in here from the Steel County Humane Society, so lots of things to talk about. And a little bit later on in the show, Owatonna uh, show supporter Owatonna Public Utilities and we'll be out on location with them. So let's take this first break. We're coming right back. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Giltvet. And I'm Dr. Nick Vincelli of Horizon Eye Care. We want you to see what you love and love how you see. We're proud sponsors of the Owatonna Today Show. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career. So I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. It is Wednesday, July 16th, and we have lots of friends in the studio, yes. including Kathy Linda Kugel. How are you? I'm great. And Connie Elmore, how are you? Wonderful. Thank and you. And then we need to introduce our furry friends, and yes. I'll let you do that, Kathy, with these two. This little girl is Ayla. Ayla is about six weeks old. Um, she was an orphan kitty um, that uh, we somebody found at about 10 days old so oh, goodness. Um, I had a mother who was nursing at the time so she kind of took her in and okay. and then I for about a week and then I did the rest okay um, oh, she's not quite ready for adoption yet but she will be soon okay well, within Maybe a couple weeks she's... or so <laughs> yep she's very yep. sweet she was laying here before but she decided it's a little bit of playtime yep. now but she's very sweet aren't she was you, napping Ayla? while she was waiting to come <laughs> here oh, and so. i'm going to play with my foot now because that was fun too okay baby and this oh, little yeah. guy who's a little see, scared he's right now yeah, he's, he's a little, little scared a little intimidated by oh. our whole program here this is frisco. Hi, frisco frisco was also a stray that came in um, i'm thinking he's around 10 weeks old and he okay. is available for adoption and ready to go to his forever home he is sweet this one wants to go down come here you yeah. come spend some time with me ayla you yeah. just come there over you here. go yeah well i was going to say too that even like if we like with ayla even if like if you see her now and you're like oh she's the kitten for me uh, you can always fill out paperwork and reserve them. Mm -hmm. You'd need to leave a check or cash to reserve it. Okay. Uh, but, you know, that's really a great way to, you know, if you know what the animal's for you, it's a good way to guarantee that that, that, you, that you know, kitty or puppy will be going home with you. Exactly. Well, that's good, good to know. So we've got a couple of beautiful <laughs> kittens here <laughs> that are looking for their forever <clears throat> home. And, Connie, who do you have? Well, I have little Hetty here. Well, actually, Hetty isn't so little, but she's only two <laughs> months old. We're not quite certain on the breed at this point. Um, looks a little bit, a little bit Saint Bernardish, mm -hmm. uh, but could also be Houndish. We just really don't know. Okay. We will know more, um, you know, soon. Uh, but uh, these are newcomers to, to us, so. Um, 
don't really, um, you know, but she's about two months old and she actually came in with uh, a, one of a litter of six. Okay. So she's got one sister and four brothers Aww. and they're all equally as cute and sweet. They are just <laughs> absolutely adorable. And you know what? I've not even heard them bark. They're just such sweet. calm, sweet puppies. Very, very sweet. Aren't yeah, you very, eggs? very, very good natured. So, yes. yeah. Well, seriously, Connie came walking in with her and she had her kind of like, you know, over her arm. And she just hung there like a little yeah. stuffed animal and said, yep, what are we doing? Where are we going? So. Yeah, she really is very, very beautiful with the black rimmed eyes mm -hmm. and the little nose, you know, and yeah, just very, yeah. very pretty. She's yeah. going to she's okay. gonna make a great family dog for somebody. She looks like she's going to be a beautiful dog yeah. and very, very sweet tempered too. And mm -hmm. who's the little, ugly little one in your arms who keeps licking mama? Oh, this <laughs> is little Miss Daisy. Hi, Daisy. And Daisy, um, she's about two months old as well. Okay. And she came in with mom and two brothers. So okay. she's the only girl in the litter. So... Um, and they're uh, they're thinking that these are do they're doxy mixes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So they're not. She's not going to get very big. No, she won't. Yeah. Okay. She, and she's the peanut. She's the little tiny one in the litter. So oh, she's just cute too. And I don't <laughs> know if you can get a really good look at her face there, but she is. Look at those little yeah. kind of marks above her eyes, her little eyebrows. <laughs> she says what? Are you looking at me? Look at how cute I am. Aww. Somebody needs to have me in their house. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. Well, and again, these are just representatives of, you know, the, the puppies and kitties and cats and dogs, and we should say full-grown right. animals as well. We happen to have some kittens and puppies here today. But you just had a special adoption day mm -hmm. just this last weekend, and that went yes, very we well, did. didn't it? Very it did, well. yes. We had uh, four four dog puppies type things adopted and uh, four kittens adopted. Okay. So that yeah, went very, very well, and uh, yeah, very, very happy with that. But you know what? Don't fear if you can come to this uh, this <laughs> adoption. This is our regular pet adoption yes. day coming up Saturday. Right. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We, and we have lots to choose from yet. We have over twenty puppies and dogs in the system. Okay. Uh, so over twenty of those, and still about fifty uh, cats and kittens. Oh my goodness. So uh, not every single animal makes it to uh, the adoption events, mm -hmm. but um, you know uh, we have a good representation there right. of of the animals. And uh, so truly, and if you can also go online too, yes. right, and see all mm -hmm. of the animals that are well, available. Yeah, and they're not, or not like most of the new ones that we have in okay. have not made it yet to the web. Okay. So you know, a good thing is if you're really, really interested, just come and see at adoption day, yeah. or or give us a call at that four five one four five one two number, and she can mm -hmm. tell you more. Um, you know what animals are available because they, they don't always all make it on the web oh, right exactly. away. Exactly. Okay. And maybe what you're looking for. So mm -hmm. maybe a family is saying, you know, we really want that kitten. We mm -hmm. really want that yep. puppy. We want them from that age. Maybe someone else is saying, you know, I'd like a, a mature cat. Right. I'd like an adult or a younger, mm -hmm. um, grown, trained, you know, whatever, kitty for our family or, or, or dog. Um, and so, of course, the, the folks that would be answering the phone know all of those things too right. and would be able to help. And then you can always go see them in their foster Absolutely. homes and <laughs> Absolutely. kind of get to know them too which is always a blessing. So there's something a little extra going on. Well, first, let's let people know where and when the adoption is, or the, uh, excuse me, Humane Society. Pet Adoption Day. Pet Adoption Day, <laughs> yes. Thank you, Connie, for rescuing me there. Pet Adoption Day is Saturday. From what time to what time? It's from uh, noon to 2. Okay. And it's at the old Walmart building. All right. And this time, we are going to be having something extra special. It's going to be one of our fundraiser. Okay. And okay. Kathy can fill you in more on that. Okay. Yes, what yes, are you I doing can. as well? We are also going to have a car wash. Okay. And we are going to ha have um, washing, drying, and vacuuming. And um, the cost of that is just a donation of your choice. Okay. So you can always give cash. We always take cash. Yeah. Or if you prefer, you can bring product, which would be scoopable cat litter, um, puppy food, kitten food, kitten formula. Okay. Okay. Collars, leashes. Okay. Anything like that, you can bring to us as well, and we will accept that as payment. Okay. Let me ask something because I I know that these get generated on receipts. The pet points, have I seen those? Do you, if somebody doesn't save those for themselves, do you? I would love those. Take those? Yes. Is, it, is that at Cashwise <laughs> that I remember seeing those? The pet mm -hmm. points. Right. So yep. if I'm buying pet products at mm -hmm. Cashwise, it's generating pet points. Mm -hmm. Right. And maybe I'm not going to use them, but I could turn those into mm -hmm. you, and I'm sure you guys would yeah. find very yes. good uses yep. too mm -hmm. um, for those and accumulate those with the other ones. But as you said, cash or 
check are going to allow you to purchase what is needed as right, well. Exactly. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So yes, we will take pet points and we will also be collecting um, ink cartridges this Saturday from okay. 12 to 4. Your printer ink cartridges yep, from like used, your home printer? Your yep, the used printer? ones. Okay. Instead of throwing them away, just stick them in a bag and bring them down to us. Okay, and you'll be able to get... Yeah, we take them into Office Max mm -hmm. and Office Max gives us credit for them so we can buy office supplies down there. Oh, perfect. Okay, well that's a great arrangement. Yes. Yeah, so we can bring our ink. Look at all the ways that we can support you and your families yes. that are currently taking care of you, huh? She says, okay, if you're going to hold me, I guess I'll lay that. <laughs> I'm thinking that's okay. Oh, maybe, but I don't maybe know. not. Maybe <laughs> not. You're funny. You're very cute. Um, also on Saturday, too, if you get enough people, there is the spay neuter clinic, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, we, we believe strongly in spaying and neutering animals. Mm -hmm. All of our animals are spayed and neutered before we adopt out. Yep. Uh, but uh, if, if income uh, if, is, if the cost is, uh, you know, a concern to you, we have low cost uh, spay and neuter. Um, every other month, and this okay. this Saturday is through Kindest Cut. Okay. Now there is still space available. As a matter of fact, unless we get more people who sign up, it's probably going to be canceled. Okay. They and need a certain amount to come mm -hmm. here. It's a right. mobile. It's a mobile unit, yeah. mm -hmm. and so if if you have not yet spayed or neutered your pet. Uh, please, please consider doing it and give us a call at that 451-4512 number and she can give you the, the website uh, for Kindest Cut if, uh, or you can look it up yourself and see if you can't still get registered because we sure would like to, to have that here and we, yeah. we really like it for our Steel County residents who, who cost, you know, is, mm -hmm. the, is the prohibiting factor for why they haven't got it done, yeah. if, if they would go and get it done because it's just so, and it, it makes your animals healthier. You know, like yes. chance of, of mammary cancer is so much less and it just has so many benefits. Less chance of them straying, they're more likely to stay at home. They are. Yep. And yep. just so, so many benefits other than the fact that you're not uh, we're not, you know, contributing to the population, mm, to the overpopulation. Yes. Yeah. So, exactly. uh, just would love it if you and and if if this Saturday isn't going to work out, give us a call too for the next time we or that we're okay. going to have one. Okay, and that is there's I'm, I'm sure there's paperwork that you fill mm -hmm. out and criteria right. that you need to meet mm -hmm. in order to um, take advantage of that. But what a great service! Right. So make yes. sure you call the. Because as much You're, as we love little kitties like Ayla, <laughs> yes, we do, we do, but we don't. But need we lots don't and need lots, and lots, lots, of, them. lots of them. Yes, <laughs> we, we would like enough to adopt for people who need them, but not have an overabundance. So. Right. And and there's always, uh, you know, there's always going to be kittens and puppies. Yes, uh, you know, even of course. you know, even if you know, it's it's being responsible to get yes. them spayed and neutered. It is. Well, Ayla and whoops, I forgot your name. Frisco. Frisco. And Hetty and Daisy, it was very nice to meet you. Connie and Kathy, thank you for joining us. Pet Adoption Day is this Saturday at the old Walmart building, 12 to 2, with the car wash going on from noon to 4. And it's going to be a great day, and it's an opportunity for you to get your car wash too. Find a little um, animal for your forever home, too, and, and get your car washed as well and support <laughs> the, the Steel County Humane Society. So thank you, ladies and pets, for joining us <laughs> today. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Let's take a break for our supporters, and then we're out on location with Mark. Hi, I'm Rick Smith, Smith, Golf Course Superintendent of the Brooktree Golf Course. Brooktree is an 18-hole championship golf course yeah, featuring well-manicured green tees and fairways. On us, we are yeah. open to the you public. So I, think I challenge did. you to she find a better maintained golf course for that? the money we charge here at Brooktree. Come on out and play Brooktree, a great golf course. Everyone deserves opportunities to have a good life. A quality education that leads to a stable job, enough income to support a family through retirement, and good health. But the reality is many children fall behind, many families are struggling, and many others are in poor health. United Way's goal is to find long-term solutions. Thanks to a grant from the Otto Bremer Foundation, we're hosting community conversations this year to address these issues. If you'd like to join us, please call our office. Hi, I am Dr. Amy Swain from Amy Swain Hearing Centers, and for more than 20 years I have been helping people hear better. It has been a very rewarding experience, but so many people put off getting help with their hearing. 
Clients often tell me they wish they had started wearing hearing aids sooner as their quality of life was improved so much with better hearing. Call me today at 1-800-804-3361 for a free hearing test at Amy Swain Hearing Centers of Oatana, Austin, and Waseca. That's 1-800-804-3361, where Dr. Amy Swain wants everyone to hear better. Hi, I'm Brenda with the Mortgage Office of Brenda Bednar, aligned with American Mortgage and Equity Consultants, where closings feel right, right from the beginning. I'm a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Clarebridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. Hi, I'm Ron Clancher with Clancher & Sun Landscaping and Concrete. We support the Owatonna Today Show and so should you. excited about the progress so far and what people will see coming in here right now is this is our main customer service area they'll be greeted with our customer service uh, staff back in here like they've seen before we'll have a bunch of uh, 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 desks and stuff set up here to do transactions and so forth up above we have some of our offices located here too as well and then uh, have the opportunity with some steps moving up through this area into our main uh, commission meeting room and training room that we'll be using for our new repurposed facility here. Okay. Sounds good. And um, so how long has this project been going on? <laughs> <laughs> I know it seems like a long time. Seems like forever. The, uh, yeah, we started it well over a year ago. We had the demolition that we completed and the construction was done about, uh, started about a a year ago in July, June, and uh, we're at the point now that we're hoping by August 25th, the customers will be able to start coming in through here and we'll be able to start serving them in their new facility will be phase one. We'll have uh, quite a bit of our operation up and running here as we continue our repurposing and that okay. will last throughout the, uh, the end of this year. We're hoping to be totally done with construction. Okay, all right, and I bet I bet your staff is very glad that this is occurring now too because uh, yes, we've been a bit inconvenienced as we drive the loop here around by OPU with lots of construction and that kind of thing. But I would imagine it's kind of been a little difficult for your staff as well. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to finally getting in here. The inconvenience with our customers and neighbors putting up with the noise, right. they've been great to deal with. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to have the new facility, especially in light of we just went through some flooding here recently. And if the new facility would have been up and running like it will be by the end of this year, 
floods like we just recently seen will have no impact on our operation whatsoever. Good. And what did the flooding do to you this time around a month ago? It flooded out the bottom area of our basement where the power plant used to be. Okay. And uh, it, no damage to any of our equipment or facility because it's all been uh, uh, demolitioned at this point. Okay. All right. Yes, throughout the plant we're going to try to use a lot of the artifacts from the old power plant. And uh, this is one example of it. These were the old floor gratings for our boiler and turbine area. And we're, we decided to clean them up and repaint them so they can be used as uh, railings for our facility. Okay, so will these be found throughout the building then or just right here in the lobby? They used to be found throughout the building on different floors. Okay, that's great. All right, let's go to the floor. All right. Yes, this is going to be our new commission uh, meeting room as well as training room and it will be also available to be used for uh, public purposes as well. Do you know the square footage of the room or the size? It will hold about uh, 85 to 90 people. Yes, very proud of this. This would be a nice views out here towards the river as well. Okay. All right. Well, let's head on up to the river. Okay. So now we have finally made it up here to the third floor, and here is the view off of some of the new windows that have been put on the back side or the, the side of the power plant right here. And we'll just swing around here and we have Mark right here and Mark, there you are, okay. So now tell us, what are you planning on doing with the third floor here? Yeah, our entire repurposing plan was really to build things for the next 40 years. The third floor is a great example of that. Uh, right now we don't have any plans to occupy this and so this whole space is going to be open. It has some of the best views in the city you can see up here. There are some options to lease this out for a business. Uh, some people have talked about even a restaurant up here, but the views would be incredible. <laughs> the, you can see back here is a glass, the existing glass. We're looking at removing the glass panes, right. leaving the frames in place and having the new glass put on the outside. And the glass that we've been using out here is just uh, is the Viracon glass from our own uh, local company here as well. That's wonderful. And there is one more artifact up here on the third floor as well. Let me just pan to it. And right there you have a little bit of a, what is that, a tub? Uh, yes, one of our uh, process tanks that we had for the operation of the process boiler tanks. Okay. system. We decided to leave that as another artifact uh, to be used for... Uh, aesthetic purposes up here. Sure. And you know what? You could paint scenes of Oatana all the way around it. How does that sound? Is that a good idea? Sure. Well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> all right. All right, Mark. Where, sh where shall we go next? The vehicle storage building. Ah, yes. The one that everybody's been wondering, what is that? Yes. All right. Let's go to the vehicle storage building. We've relocated now to the... Mark, tell us what it is. The V... SB. VSB, which is? Vehicle storage building. Yeah, and look at the expanse of this. This is just amazing. Yes, but, this building was designed to replace the old vehicle storage building that was in the floodplain and it got flooded out. So this will house our service vehicles for meter, gas, and water services. Okay. And from the outside, you've seen this as a large kind of uh, taupe colored addition that's been put on the plant. The large ramp that you see from Walnut Street. Right, there's a large ramp that comes in from uh, Walnut Street. And and the reason why, okay, this is up actually level with your what, second floor of the of the, of the building? Yeah, this is actually the first floor area. Oh, the first floor, okay. But the beauty of this is when the Straight River floods, your vehicles will not. 
right? Exactly right. So it's above the floodplain. We won't have to worry about it. The water gets up this high. Uh, it will be a biblical type of disaster to, <laughs> for that to happen. So yeah, it's above the floodplain. We do have employee parking and customer parking down below, mm -hmm. but that is in the floodplain and it's designed to be to flood out and then recede and we just uh, clean it up afterwards. Sure, sure. Now you did tell us <clears throat> where we currently come in for customer service. That was actually an add-on to the power plant building at one point in time. And when all of your customer service people then are moved into the uh, larger building, tell us what will happen to that little add-on. Right, the office uh, building where they've come in now for customer service and other offices will be uh, demolition because it doesn't meet flood requirements. That, that building does get flooded out and we decided not to, uh, to flood protection it okay. and because we have plenty of space in the new power plant as well. You absolutely do, you absolutely do. Well Mark, thank you so much. We really appreciate this sneak preview of all of the work that has gone into repurposing the old power plant. And uh, actually, um, the next time you're on the show, I think we'll be taking another tour and we'll actually see this all totally done. We can actually visit some of the various departments and, and kind of find out what each department does. So thank you so much for being on the Oatana Today Show with us. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, and, and the last shot will be what this garage looks like from the outside. Everyone has asked, what are they doing there? What are they doing there? Well, now you know, and we'll show you what it looks like from the outside. Thanks so much, Mark. You're welcome. And here's what the parking garage looks like on the outside of the building here. Many people in the community have wondered what this, what this is. Well, that goes right up into that first floor garage area that we were just in. So stay tuned in September when OPU is on again, we'll actually get another tour of this building uh, with everything completed. Thanks for joining us on location at the Oatana Public Utilities. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Jake with Napa Auto Parts. Napa has the know-how for all your automotive needs. Napa is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Hello, my name is Katie Marshall. A year ago, my family and I became homeless. We were scared and alone. Today, with the help of Steele County Transitional Housing and generous donors like you, my family and I are safely housed. I am working, going to college, paying my rent on time. My children have a warm bed to sleep in every night. My family and I are so grateful for this second chance. Please help others in need by donating to Transitional Housing today. Everyone deserves a safe place to live. Wrapping up for today, Wednesday, July 16th, the Owatonna Community Blood Drive is going on today from noon to 6, tomorrow from noon to 6, and Friday from 8 to 1 at St. Joseph's Church. Get a hold of the Red Cross through their 800 number or online to still make an appointment or walk in. The Steele County Historical Society is pleased to welcome former Congressman and current Southeastern Minnesota Initiative Foundation President and CEO Tim Penny. He will be there for a presentation tomorrow, Thursday, July 17th at 7. Tim's topic will be political potpourri. It is free to Steele County Historical Society members, $2 for non-members. Young Life Golf Tourney is rescheduled and they need golfers. Um, the rains and flooding for earlier in the year rescheduled their June 21st golf tournament to this Saturday, July 19th. They lost some golfers, they gained some golfers, they still need golfers. Um, it's an 8.30 shotgun start to sign up as an individual or a foursome and still get in on the golfing this Saturday. Call 451-9401. That's 451-9401. And, of course, we heard from the Steele County Humane Society earlier today with their pet adoption day and car wash and so on. And Secret Garden Tour, of course, is coming up on Sunday. So, whew, a busy week this week and lots of things. No shortage of things to do. Coming up on Friday's program, we will be talking festival Festival of the Arts. For some reason, I cannot get that out of my mouth and say that correctly at all this week. Also, the Personal and Professional Growth Conference coming up at Camp Pillsbury. Have a great day. We'll see you Friday. <music>